Hello friends, welcome back to our series of this short question answer discussion. So in this video, I would be telling you the trick of how to approach a question even when you don't know the answer. Plus I would be telling you the features of the other tone lesions radiographically or radiologically. So do watch this video till the end. Also, please go through the videos related to this question that is differentiating epiphyseal lesion and the video on fibrous dysplasia, the link of which I am sharing in the description below. So our question says, blister of bone sign is seen in. So suppose this is the question in the exam. Blister of bone sign is seen in which condition? And you do not know the answer. So how do you approach it is blister of bone as the term says. So like you have blister on the skin. So if this is the skin surface, you have a blister which balloons out like this. Similarly, blister of bone means like that. So from the bone, you would be having a blister which is coming out. So basically, it tells you that it is an eccentric lesion and it is an expansile lesion. So you know that this is eccentric lesion. So this rules out option C because simple bone cyst or unicameral bone cyst is generally central location. So in the bone, if you see if this is the bone, generally simple bone cyst is in the center. It is not eccentric. So simple bone cyst is out. So eccentric and expansile. This is a feature of aneurysmal bone cyst and it is a feature of giant cell tumor also but blister of bone sign is specifically the term used for aneurysmal bone cyst as you can see here in this CD scan this is the bone in cross section and you see this lesion this is the entire lesion here and this lesion is causing ballooning out or blister like appearance of the bone so it is eccentric and it is expansive causing ballooning or blister appearance. So this is a feature of aneurysmal bone cyst. So blister of bone sign is seen in aneurysmal bone cyst. So as the term says aneurysmal, so like an aneurysm of the blood vessel, it is eccentric, it is expansive. Plus, like the aneurysm affects the blood vessel, aneurysmal bone cyst histologically shows cavities which are blood filled. So, you will see blood filled cavities or lakes of blood appearance on histology. So, this is again an important question. Blood filled cavities are seen in. And because of that, on CT scan or better seen in MRI are fluid fluid levels. So you can see fluid fluid levels in aneurysmal bone cyst. This is another potential question which can be asked. Fluid fluid levels are seen in aneurysmal bone cyst due to blood filled cavities. It is not unique for aneurysmal bone cyst. It is seen in other lesions also. But the first thing most frequently where it is seen is aneurysmal bone cyst. So remember the term aneurysm helps us to remember eccentric and expansile. The term aneurysm helps us to remember it has blood filled cavities. Plus the other feature of aneurysmal bone cyst is it occurs in the metaphysis. And generally the age group is less than 20 years. So that means it is in unfused skeleton or when the growth plate has not fused yet. So aneurysmal bone cyst, if this is the epiphysis, this is the metaphysis unfused, you will see an eccentric expansi lesion here in the metaphysis in a younger age group. While in contrast, the giant cell tumor is in a fused skeleton as we said, it is also eccentric expansile, but it affects the epiphysis. So it reaches up to the subarticular surface of the bone. So if, for example, this is the bone where this epiphysis and metaphysis are fused. You will see this giant cell tumor here eccentric reaching up to this articular surface. So it is in the epiphysis. Well, aneurysmal bone cyst is in metaphysis and fused skeleton. 
simple bone cyst as we said if there's a simple bone cyst it is centrally located it is centrally located rather than eccentric plus remember the important sign in simple bone cyst very very frequently asked and recently it was asked in one of the exams it has fallen fragment sign it has fallen fragment sign or trap door sign fallen fragment sign or trap door sign as we see here in this image this is a lesion in the bone centrally located lesion lytic lesion in the bone and you see this bone fragment falling inside the lesion so that tells you that it is fallen fragment sign of simple bone cyst recently asked image in one of the exams important points about fibrous dysplasia that are asked in your exam are it has ground glass appearance so remember it has ground glass appearance the syndrome associated is mccun albright syndrome mccun albright syndrome and it has shefford crook deformity shefford crook deformity the video of which we have already uploaded previously the link i am sharing in the description below please go through that video that would be a very helpful video for the upcoming exams so remember this points about fibrous dysplasia also do watch the video on giant cell tumors and other epiphyseal lesions how do you differentiate again the link i am sharing in the description below hope you find this discussion useful if yes please do let us know in the comments also let us know the topics which you find difficult so that we can post questions and discuss those in our next video thank you keep studying keep revising and keep winning